Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Helsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be making this card. The day without cookies is, um, just kidding, I have no idea and this is a total me card because I love chocolate chip cookies. I am using the Nothing's Better Than You photopolymer stamp set from the new annual catalogue from Stamping Up and it's actually a bundle so it also comes with nine awesome dies that coordinate with this so you have the cocktail and you have the cookie you also have the cup the chocolate or muffins double use there and then you also have some cool words so you've got coffee and um, cocktails chocolate and cookie and this here says love you more than and they don't line up with these, they are actually bigger. But if you just did them in pure black, it wouldn't matter anyway. So I quite like those. And I'm gonna be using the cookie one today. Okay. What is great about this stamp set is not only do you get the outline stamps, you also get the inline stamps as well. So you don't actually have to color with this one. You can just stamp the outline, stamp the insert in a different colour and then stamp it in. But for today's tutorial, I'm actually going to be blending because we know I like blends and I've got my cinnamon cider light and dark. So to get started, I've already got my cookie on a block lined up and ready to go. What you will need is you will need a piece of Whisper White that is two inches by five and a quarter inches so five and a quarter inches high by two inches wide and then you will need a piece of crumb cake and this one here is three and seven eighths of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch okay so that will sit quite nicely on top of there and then you need a piece of scrap whisper white and I'm just going to Stamp myself my two cookies. Okay, you can see from the die when I line it up that the die is going to cut just the cookies. It's not going to cut all these cute little um, crumbs, but then the cute little crumbs are so tiny um, that you probably expect that anyway. It just cooks, cuts the cookie. So I'm going to use my cinnamon cider and I'm just going to dot inside. I'm not dotting on where I think the sprinkles are. Yes, I'm trying to cover them, but if I just miss them, I'm not really concerned because I don't think anyone's going to sit with a magnifying glass at my card. Hopefully not. So it is just a quick little sprinkle of the dark. Taking the light and cover it in the cookie. So I actually did this card on a call the other night. I got invited to a crafting session with a member of my team and enjoyed that very much. We were on Zoom and we just literally picked a set and went away. Or well, we didn't go away, we sat on Zoom talking but we didn't show anyone what we had made with that set until we had finished. Um, as predicted, I thought that most of us would actually go for cocktails because, you know, that's pretty much what we were doing. We had a gin for the Zoom as well. So I thought that everyone would go for cocktails. So I went for cookies. <laughs> and this was the card I made. So I've actually already die cut these purely because my die cut machine does not fit in my... Um, in my stamping part so normally I turn away and do it but I thought save you sitting there I will actually pre die cut them so they're there and then with the two pieces of cardstock that I told you you would need okay with this one you want to stamp the cookie all over it and I mean like all over it bear in mind I'm going to be popping a strip down the middle there so I want to make sure that there's cookies on all of the bit around it. There's no point popping one like that, but there is like that. Keep
keep moving your stamp around so that you get your cookies in every different direction. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper. Have I got a scrap piece of paper? I should have. I'm just going to grab one of those and stamp off the side because I don't like getting my grid paper dirty on videos. I'm okay with it if I'm generally crafting by myself, but I think it looks looks distracting on a video if you look at it and you can just see stamp marks over my grid paper so I don't do it. I'm going to do exactly the same with a dark cinnamon cider as I was doing before. So means you're watching my video in August I will just let you know that this set is available as a bundle the stamps and the dies. You can get 10% off if you buy them together from the new annual catalogue. And if you are shopping through August, I have a promotion running myself, which is if you spend £60 or more with me and use my hostess code, you get a free stamp set. The stamp set that you get free is the four season floral stamp set, which I just think is such a cute stamp set. And if you search four season floral on my YouTube, there'll be several videos that I already have up using this stamp set because it is so versatile and I do enjoy using it. But it is a promotion not run by Stamping Up, it's run by me personally. And as soon as I see the order come through between the 1st and 20th of August, using my hostess code, which is on the top here, but it is also on my blog, slimandstylish.com, then I will send you out one of these stamps and they do come in different languages, so you can get it in French and German as well. And the promotion is available for people in France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands and the UK. I can't ship to America, unfortunately, and I know a lot of people in America um, watch my videos, which is lovely. Big hello to you all. Um, but unfortunately, Stamping Up actually has a policy that doesn't allow us to ship across our different selling borders. So I can't sell to you, unfortunately. But there is um, a promotion going on at Stamping Up personally for um, demonstrators. And I am so close to it, really close. So I just need a few more sales and hopefully I will hit it. And that is why I'm running the promotion. As a thank you to you for helping me on my journey sort of thing. Right, so I'm almost there with my dots. I will just add, by the way, that at any time, if you're catching this up after August, I do send a product thank you gift to any customer who uses my hostess code. There's a different one each month, so do check them out on my blog before you use this one. <laughs> um, and any orders are appreciated, but it's just not normally a stamp set. That's a, an anomaly. So... In with a light one, around those, which I'm actually going to use the bullet tip because I love the brush, I really do, I think it's really crisp and clean and I like doing it in the middle, but when I go around the outsides I do like the bullet tip so that I stay in the lines. I feel like a little child, stay in the colour in lines hells, stay in the colour in lines. So yeah, this is a chocolate chip cookie for me. Sort of like, um, um, is it Maryland, Maryland um, cookie that we get here? I like those. I think my family were hoping that I would tell them it was a nutty cookie, but I'm allergic to nuts, so it's not a nutty cookie. It's a chocolate one. And I'm sure if I had a cookie like this my dog would love it because there's loads of crumbs he has decided I will actually tell you this it's hilarious it's so cute because I've been working from home I have breakfast bars in the morning I don't like to have a big breakfast um so I just have sort of like 
I have a breakfast bar and there's normally two bars in a pack so I'll have one when I get to work and then a bit later on I'll have the other one with a cup of tea. Now because I've been working from home I've been having my breakfast bars at home and the dog it's the Country Valley honey and oat ones and they are really nice but for some reason my dog has just gone absolutely mad on them like I, I finished them oh no I've gone over it with the dark this is why I shouldn't talk go over it with the light people <laughs> oh dear me that will be just an anomaly one at the bottom we didn't see it um yeah but for some reason my dog has just gone crazy on them normally when I have something I've just saved like a little tiny bit in the corner and I entreat him occasionally with that but these country valley bars oh he is so cute he he sits in the morning I go and make my cup of tea and then he sits by the packets so he knows where they're kept and he sits and looks at the packet just to remind me to have my breakfast bar and then when I start rustling them he sits and doesn't break eye contact with me and we we will only give him food if he raises his paw so we'll normally say to him sit you know paw and then we'll take his paw off him um you know shake it give him a little bit of a munch and then we will give him the food but normally he doesn't beg he has to wait for he waits for you to call him over say sit but with these bars he walks over sits in front of you and just raises his paw and he puts them like above his head it's the highest with a raised his paw and if you forget him he puts his paw on your knee like i'm here i'm here and i've never seen him do it with anything else it's really cute so i'm actually going to punch this first so this is using one of our tag topper punches and this piece of card is a two inches which is just perfect for the outer edge of the punch with these punches you can use them with smaller cards so you can use this with an inch inch and a half and two inches and i'm using the outer for the two inches I feed the card in and punch okay now i'm just going to chop a bit off here i didn't do it beforehand because if i messed it up i could still go but I'm just going to take, and I'm not even going to measure it, probably about that much, just a centimetre, a quarter of an inch, make sure it's straight. But just so you get a little bit of card at the top and a little bit of card at the bottom. Okay, so the stamps I'm using is a day without cookies is like, um, I have no idea. Well, just kidding, I have no idea. Um, so it's that one that one and a day without that one so let's line these up cookies okay very aware I didn't get that very straight so I'm just gonna use my grid paper to grid paper is always handy isn't it A day without. Now I just put ink on that a couple of times because it's a slightly bigger stamp. And it would look a bit silly if it just said cookies, wouldn't it? <laughs> so a day without cookies. And then a lot further down is like um just kidding, I have no idea. So this stamp set was actually designed by Connie Stewart from Simply Simple Stamping. Connie is an American demonstrator and she is lovely. She is such a nice lady. And um, when you get to a million CSV, which is what we, we sell, so it's like a, what's it called? Like a universal sort of credit term. So it's like dollars and pounds together. But if you sell a million of them, you get to design your own stamp set. And so she's designed hers. I think hers might be for two million. I can't remember, but it's, it's for a, a lot of money. So I'm just going to turn it over and stick it on and I'm going to use my dimensional there to just stick it in place because I'm going to pop this up anyway and then the final one hit that corner make sure it's 
just not over the words when you turn it over. And then I'm just going to use a few more dimensionals to pop this up. There we go. And finally the trim. So I am using the braided linen trim. And I'm going to pop a glue dart just, just there. So let me show you. I'm going to pop it just like that. Oh, help if I <laughs> if I paid attention to where the actual camera was. And a thin piece of the linen trim. Pop it through and then push it in like that. Just cut the top so it's the same. And then that will hold that in place like that. I need to remember where the uh, the camera is on the new camera, don't I? <laughs> Keep going where my old lens was. So then just pop that on there. Like that. I then have a piece of Whisper White cardstock which I have cut in half and folded in half and I'm just going to stick that onto there like that. I'm just going to use my Tombow to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have my in colour enamel dots to add on as well but just to let you know that any of the items I have used in the video are for sale slimandstylish.com. Go up to head about and click buy and please do use my hostess code. You can find the current hostess code on my blog on the right hand side. And if you pop that in, you get a little thank you gift from me. But like I said, if it is in August, you get a free stamp set. Woohoo! And the in colour dots are here. And I'm just going to pop a couple of the cinnamon cider ones on here to make it seem fun. Can you hear the dog next door? It's going crazy. I have no idea what's happened. Someone must have arrived, but it's, it's going mad. <laughs> they um, foster dogs next door for like the dog's home. And I have to, you get to a stage, I've just stuck that on there really stupidly. I get to a stage where I try to not look out the window when I hear dogs barking because otherwise I get, Oh, they're cute. We could adopt that one. We'll have it. <laughs> um, enjoying the coronavirus, they've obviously been fostering quite a few because people can't go to the dogs' homes to look round, so they've had them at home and everything. And my dog isn't the most sociable with other dogs, so he would not like it if I decided to adopt another one. <laughs> but there we go. So there's the card. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all soon. If you have liked the video, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and pop back for my other videos. And yeah, see you soon. Bye everybody.